Literary Essay, Lesson 2. We are going to start by reviewing our vocab words from yesterday's lesson. So a theme was the important idea or lesson repeated or developed throughout a text. A thesis is a sentence that states the main claim and reasons in an essay and is developed in the essay with evidence. Gist is a brief summary of what happened in a story, usually only a few sentences. Literary elements are elements found in literature. Characters, setting, conflict, resolution, plot, theme, mood, narrator, turning point, etc. Literary techniques are words or phrases authors use to develop their readers' understanding and appreciation of the text. Examples are metaphors, similes, alliteration, hyperbole, imagery, personification, repetition, etc. Scholarly voice. To write formally without the use of slang, texting lingo, abbreviations, cliches, or contractions, and to use academic language that pertains to the topic. And sentence variety. Alternating between using simple, compound, and complex sentences within a paragraph to keep the reader interested. Our learning target for today's lesson, I can analyze mentor texts to determine what makes an effective literary essay. Think about what you already know about literary essays. So now that you've had a few seconds to think about what you already know about literary essays, we're going to take some time to look through several literary essays and take notes on what grabs our attention, and then we're going to talk about what makes these essays effective. Now we are going to be looking at an example of a literary essay, and your job is to listen to the story and think about what makes this a great essay and think about what aspects that make this essay great that you can use in your future essay. Here's the essay. Literature often tells the story of underdogs who rise up in the end. The Mighty Ducks is the story of a ragtag hockey team that ends up winning the state championship. Cinderella tells the story of the rejected youngest sister who ends up marrying the prince. The Marvel Chant by Gary Soto is also an underdog story. It tells not only about Lupe winning the Marvel Championship, it also tells that she overcomes her athletic difficulties through hard work and family support. Lupe overcomes her difficulties through the support of her family. For example, one dinner... Lupe asks her father to come to the marble competition. Her father drops his fork and drops into deep thought. He had finally planned to spend that very day playing racquetball, his favorite activity, but he looked into Lupe's eyes, thought about how important it was that she was risking. Entering a sports competition and announced he would be there. Lupe grinned. There are other ways in which Lupe's family showed their support. Her parents let her practice marbles even after dark. Her brother gave tips on how to shoot marbles and her whole family was there to encourage her when she was worried. Gary Soto shows how important family support was to Lupe. His story contains a full page description of the family dinner. This section was not important to the plot of the story, but it needs to be in the story because it shows how supportive Lupe's family was to her. Lupe also overcame her difficulties through hard work. Lupe's decision to work hard and succeed in sports was made when she lay in front of her shelf full of academic trophies and medals. She wished there was at least one trophy that showed... that she could do sports, but there were none. 
She decided that she would work hard day and night to win a marble tournament. A bit later, she came home from school and immediately tossed down her backpack and got out her marbles. Let me point out, Lupe usually came home from school and did her homework. That is why she had a shelf full of academic trophies. She put on a determined face and started to flick her marbles. At 5 o'clock, she hadn't started homework. At 6 o'clock, she had flicked 500 times and she hadn't started her homework. At 7 o'clock, she'll die if she goes on any longer. Final score, marbles. 3 hours, homework, 0 hours. Lupe overcomes her difficulties by squeezing an eraser 100 times for thumb strength and doing finger-ups for finger strength and by practicing after dark even... when she could be tired to improve her overall marble game. Gary Soto shows Lupe's hard work through repetition. For example, he says unnecessary lines like tried again and again and practice, 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 squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. These lines support my idea that Lupe is working hard. I enjoy underdog stories because they make me have a feeling of strange success inside. I have experienced being an underdog in soccer, but in the end, like Lupe, my soccer team succeeded. The hidden lessons I learned from the story taught me that even if you don't think about it, there's a part inside of you that says your parents are there. Just remember who held you when you learned how to swim. Let's talk about some elements of a great literary essay based on the essay that we just read. So one of the things that make this essay great is that the introduction draws the reader in and makes them want to continue reading. The author uses two examples that tie into her overall theme of hard work and family support. She uses an example from The Mighty Ducks and she uses an example from Cinderella and then she gives us her thesis statement. And the thesis statement does a great job at explaining what she will be writing about. It tells us that she's going to be writing about the Marble Champ, which is a story by Gary Soto, that it's an underdog story, and that it not only tells about the character winning a Marble Championship, but it talks about how she had to overcome her athletic difficulties through hard work and family support. By the end of that introduction, we want to continue reading and we know exactly what we are going to be reading. The author also uses great, strong topic sentences. She starts by saying, Lupe overcomes her difficulties through the support of her family. We know in that first body paragraph, it is going to be focused on her family support. In the second body paragraph, she says Lupe also overcame her difficulties through hard work. We know that in that paragraph, the author is going to be focused on the character's hard work and determination. So those topic sentences help you to know what the paragraph is going to be about and helps the examples. And she does a great job at using the examples to get her point across. When she is doing this, she is summarizing the story and she is pulling quotes straight from the story. Towards the end of her essay, she says, for example, he says unnecessary lines like try it again and again and practice, 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 squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Those are direct quotes straight from the story The help tie her ideas together and show this bigger picture of hard work and family support. And she's not just throwing in the details, she's giving you a short summary. So for example, one dinner, Lupe asks her father to come to the marble competition. Her father drops his fork and drops into deep thought. And she goes on to continue summarizing that. She could have just said, Lupe asked her father to come to a marble competition and said nothing else about it, but she gave us all these details in a very short summary to help us understand that aspect of family support, which was one of her ideas in her thesis statement. And then lastly, she did a great job at concluding this essay and tying it all together. She talked about how she likes underdog stories, that she knows how it feels to be an underdog. And she even says at the very end, just remember who held you when you learned how to swim. That's tying it back to the reader, making you think about 
oh, wow, you know what? I think I have had a time where maybe I was an underdog. And that's just one way you can do a conclusion for a literary essay. She inserted herself into that last part in the conclusion, and that's okay to do. You can absolutely do that. If the directions say that you can't insert yourself, though, then you would just reword it just a little bit to get rid of all the eyes. But it does a great job at concluding this essay. So these are things that when you go to write your own essay, you should be thinking about and you should be focusing on doing. To wrap up this lesson, choose an example literary essay and think about what makes it a great essay. What aspects can you use in your own essay? And then our exit ticket questions for today are, why is it important to study mentor text before writing your own literacy essay? And explain two techniques that you notice authors use to write an effective literary essay.